The following talk was given at the Insight Meditation Center in Redwood City, California. Please visit our website at audiodharma.org. So this evening, in continuing our exploration of receptive awareness practice, just want to check in. How many of you were not here last week when we started this series? Okay, so quite a few of you. So we'll begin the evening tonight with a guided meditation that will introduce you to some of the the themes and some of the practice that we'll be doing. So uh, I would encourage you to try to follow along on the guided meditation. We're exploring this week, uh, or these weeks, we're exploring um, more of an open awareness practice, a receptive practice where we um, don't necessarily choose to direct the attention to a particular experience like the breath, but instead kind of settle back and let experience come to us. And we cultivate a stability of mindfulness on this changing flow of experience. So we are exploring through this practice just the fullness of all of our human experience. So I will guide, uh, guide through uh, a meditation on that to start. And with this practice, I found it for myself particularly helpful to begin by allowing the body and the mind to relax. And so we'll start there. We'll, we'll spend uh, some minutes beginning with relaxing the body and relaxing the mind. And so finding a posture that feels comfortable, alert, and as relaxed as you can be in this moment. We'll do uh, a little bit of a scan through our body and see if there can be additional relaxation possible in the body. And so starting in your head Allowing the muscles of your head, the top of your head, the back of your head, your brow across your forehead, allowing those muscles to relax and soften. Relaxing the muscles around the eyes. around the mouth, softening the jaw, allowing the neck, the back of the neck, the front of the neck to relax. Softening the shoulders, the arms, just allowing there to be a kind of a releasing of tension in each area, relaxing the arms, the hands. Relaxing the chest and upper back. All the muscles around the rib cage. I often find a deeper breath at this point helps to let those muscles relax. And noticing how, with a deeper breath, the muscles around the rib cage stretch on the in breath and soften, release on the out breath. Relaxing 
the muscles of the stomach and the abdomen, letting those muscles soften and just hang forward a little bit. There can be a, a, a kind of habit of holding them in. So just see if you can let it, let those muscles hang forward. Softening, relaxing the middle, the lower back. The hips, the pelvis. You might even be able to relax inside the hip socket. Allowing the muscles of the legs to soften, including the knees, the ankles, the feet. And then having released or softened the kind of the outer muscles of the body. It's sometimes possible to soften or relax a little bit inside the body. And so it, it just check in. It doesn't always happen. It's not always possible, but you might just check in and see. Maybe the inside of the throat can relax. Maybe the heart can relax. Maybe the stomach and the intestines can relax. And then having consciously relaxed the body as much as seems to be available in this moment. It's sometimes interesting to explore whether our being, our organism, our system has access to a little bit more relaxation that we may not have conscious access to. And we can explore this by Just dropping in a request, just being open and receptive, just requesting, may the body relax. And then just being available to see what happens when you make that request. No need for anything to happen. But just see, may the body relax, be available to see how that request lands. May the body relax. And then seeing too if there can be a relaxation of the mind, of any mental tension mental tension is often expressed by the mind being caught into thoughts of past or future. A little bit of agitation or tension in the mind. And so seeing maybe if the there can be a a letting go of mental tension. Maybe you can feel into this with a, an analogy. Just 
thinking about your brain as if it were a muscle. Seeing if you can relax your brain. May the body relax. May the mind relax. As the body and the mind relax, when the mind is not pulled into thoughts of past or future, there can be a very natural awareness that's simply available. Are you aware right now? Not in any mysterious way, but just really simply, do you know that you're aware right now? And what, what's obvious for you in this moment? this natural awareness that's available with relaxation is about opening to what's already here. What's already available? Maybe it's hearing. Maybe it's body sensation. hearing again. What's obvious in this moment? This checking in, what's obvious, what's here? This is a core of our receptive awareness practice. Receiving what's already here. Allowing whatever is obvious to come to us. Kind of a settling back. Not looking for something, but just seeing if there can be a knowing. I'm aware and here's what's here. Often, the most obvious experiences are hearing and body sensations, especially when we start. So there's the sensations of your hips against the chair, cushion, or bench, contact points of your feet and hands, the uprightness of your body, And a variety of sensations, perhaps. Pressure, pulsing, tingling, coolness or heat, hardness or softness. In this moment, relax. What's coming to you? What's obvious? may be hearing right now. Relax and receive experience could also be a state of mind or a mood or an emotion that's up for you. That might too be part of what's here in this human experience. In this receptive stance, 
of exploring experience. We're not trying to hold our attention still on anything, but rather seeing if we can be available for a flow of changing experience. With this style of practice, in one moment the attention may recognize pressure of the hips. And it may notice hearing. And then it may notice another body sensation, a dryness or a contraction. And then it may notice a mood. Being available for the next obvious thing, that's our exploration here. Relax. What's obvious? If the mind is struggling with this, uh, trying to look for something that's obvious, relax. Relaxation is our place to ground. And then it's okay to start somewhere, pick something that you can attend to. Might be the breath, it might be sensation of your hips, something obvious. And then relax with that. At some point you'll notice the attention pulled to something else. Hearing. And at that point you do not need to have any idea about coming back to anything. We are exploring the possibility of mindfulness with the full range of our experience right from the beginning. Relax. What's obvious? Maybe the attention shifts from one experience to the other. Allow that. Follow the attention. We're exploring staying present as the attention shifts. Relax. There's very little to actually do here. Our stance or our exploration is one of receiving what's already here. Relax. Are you aware? What's obvious? Of course, the mind will wander 
it will get lost. It will start thinking and lose track of following the attention. And at some point, you'll remember that you've been wandering. In that moment, first of all, recognize awareness is back. Then it can be helpful to check in, seeing if it's useful to relax again. Sometimes when the mind wanders, tension comes back into the body and mind. And so taking time, you've come back into mindfulness, relax. And then recognize what's obvious here and now. That's already mindful. If thinking has a strong pull when you wake up after wandering, it may be useful to, again, pick an area, maybe connect with the breath or connect with some obvious experience for a few minutes to help your mind loosen that stickiness around the thinking. But often the relaxation can serve that purpose. So play with that. Relax. What's obvious? How about now? How about now? Another tool in this practice, we basically explore stabilizing our attention with just this human flow of experience. And yet from time to time it's helpful to check in, how am I with what's happening right now? because sometimes we have views or opinions or ideas or reactions to what's happening that are a little below our conscious awareness. And so checking in, how am I? Or what's my relationship to what's happening right now? Maybe there's wanting something to happen or wanting something to stop happening. Or maybe there's confusion or some beliefs about what needs to be happening. Or maybe there is simply okay The mind is okay with what's happening. Every now and then during this practice we check in not only with what's obvious 
but a little bit deeper to what might not be so obvious. How am I? What's my relationship with what's happening? Relax. What's obvious? Are you aware? What's obvious? (laughs) 